Um, hi. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. Today we are talking about From Lukov with Love by Mariana Zapata. Mariana Zapata has very quickly become one of my go-to favorite authors. Like I just feel like every single book by her, you can tell it's her. She has a very like specific voice, a very specific way of writing. She is really known as like the slow burn queen and I think that title is completely deserved. She is so different from so many other like romance authors that I've read in the past year. She just, I don't know, her books are very spicy and they're very good, but she makes you wait for it and that's really like not what it's all about. She's a very like character driven, slow build, slow burn kind of author and I just absolutely love her. I'm pretty much at this point where I'm like, I'm just gonna read anything she puts out. I read two books of hers before I read this one, Culty and The Wall of Winnipeg and Me and The Wall of Winnipeg and Me was one of my absolute favorite books. I read last year, one of my favorite books just ever. I adored that book, but this book in particular was always the one that I was most excited to read when I had heard about her books and I was adding them to my TBR. This one, time and time again, I was just like, I can't wait to read that. I wanna wait until it's like winter time and I'm in the mood because it's about ice skating. So many of Mariana Zapata's books involve sports. Um, she's got like a football one, a soccer one, and this is the figure skating one. And I love figure skating. I actually figure skated for a while growing up. Not anything fancy. I just like, I took some lessons here and there. I would go like a couple times a week and I would do public skate. I loved it so much. So just like getting to read this book, the thought of it, like I just knew it was something that I was going to love. And even more, uh, my favorite trope of all time is enemies to lovers workplace romance. Like that is my thing. That is my jam. And this book combined the two. Let me explain. This story follows a girl named Jasmine. She has grown up figure skating most of her life. She, it was something she caught on to at a very young age and pretty much since the age of 10, she has been figure skating, doing lessons, competing as early as she can. And she is insanely talented. She's very good, but she's never been quite good enough. She's never really won a big championship ever in her life. And she has never had a, any good luck when it comes to pairing up with figure skaters. Like that's a big part of competition is pairs. And she's done a few, but her most recent partner totally just like abandoned her. So now she is kind of back to like solo skating. She knows she really doesn't have much time left in her career. She's about 28 now. And most people, professional figure skating, 30, 30-ish, mid 30s, like that is like, that's, that's when you stop. It's a lot on your body. So she has that internal clock ticking and she's had a really hard time with this because she's put so much of her life on hold for figure skating. It's her greatest passion. It's the only thing she wants to do. But because of that, you know, she really struggled through high school. She never went to college. She's now again, like late twenties and she just works as a waitress any free hour of the day because she spends the rest of her time practicing and trying to win and trying to be something. And so at the start of the book, that's where we figure out Jasmine is personally, she practices at the sports complex called the Lukov ice sports complex. Basically, it's like this family that owns the complex and Jasmine is best friends with the daughter of this family and she has an older brother named Ivan. And Ivan Lukov is like the greatest figure skater to ever exist, basically. He has won like Olympic gold medals, like every competition. He's especially known for his pairs skating, like he's amazing, but Jasmine cannot stand him, literally refers to him as Satan. Like they do not get along, have never gone along, they've always like picked on each other and they butt heads. And he obviously also practices at this complex and like everybody's obsessed with him, enamored by him, but like she doesn't care to be around him basically. And at the very start of the story, Jasmine ends up getting called into the office of the complex and Ivan is there with his coach. And they basically ask Jasmine to be Ivan's new skating partner. For one year, his partner that he's been with this whole time is not available for this season and they want her to do it. And Jasmine is like, excuse me, am I being pranked? Why, why would we Why would we do this? We hate each other, this is a bad idea. It, like, and she literally thinks that they're like making fun of her, something's not right, but, and Ivan of course is being a complete jerk the entire meeting, is acting like he doesn't even like this idea, doesn't want her to do it, and so obviously she ends up deciding to do it because when she sits there and she weighs the options, she knows that she hates Ivan, but 
skating with him. He's like the best known figure skater ever. It will obviously bring her some good clout. It'll put her name out there. And then because it's just for one season, like she'll likely be able to find another partner once they're finished. Like it's just a very good career move for her. And she, again, that clock is running out. Now is the time if she's gonna do something big, like she's gotta make it happen quick. So she ends up agreeing to skate with Ivan and that's kind of like this story, them practicing together, butting heads. It's, it's a total like enemies to lovers, workplace romance, even though it is ice skating, it's still that same idea of forced proximity. They have to be around each other all the time and you know, they have to do like interviews and stuff together and they obviously can't act like they hate each other in the interviews, so it's like, putting on this face and then even like on social media and stuff. It's not really fake dating. I feel like she tried to go that way with it a little bit of like, make it look like you guys like each other. But I wouldn't say it quite like meets that trope, but it's just basically them together, not liking each other, slowly starting to actually bond and get to know one another. And as these stories go, you know, the line between hate and love is always a little fuzzy whenever you get down to the nitty gritty. This story, was good, but I'm gonna be quite honest, and I hate to say this, I was very disappointed by it in the end. I would give it a solid four stars. I mean, there were some cute moments, there were some cute quotes, but what my issue is with it is that I was so excited for the ice skating element of this story. I am genuinely intrigued by it. I love ice skating, I think a lot of people do, and I I know that Mariana Zapata is not an ice skater, I know that she's not like an expert in ice skating, but, I just think there was so much potential for more to happen within like practices and competitions. Like I think that's where the real like tension and angst could have come out versus I swear like 85% of the story was like Jasmine having dinner with her family or Jasmine and Ivan like having dinner or going places or like babysitting Jasmine's little cousin or like what like they're just there were so many instances of them just like hanging out or ending up together outside of actual practice and outside of the ice skating and then there was just like one short little competition scene at like the very end and it just like made me sad like I didn't even feel like it was really an ice skating sports romance like I just think there could have been so much more and I am not a person that loves like a bunch of side characters in a story. I really just prefer to focus on the main characters. If there's like a best friend on the side, that's fine. But there were so much, like Jasmine has like five siblings and there were so many scenes of like her having family dinners with them. And it was just like all this like blah, 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 like five to 10 pages of just like banter between the siblings. And I'm like, bro, can we please go like have a tense like ice skating practice instead of this family dinner moment? Like I just don't care about it. Uh, that's just how I felt. And also speaking of side character best friends, a big aspect of this story or what seemed like a big aspect was that Jasmine was best friends with Ivan's sister. And that is obviously kind of like a scandalous element of this story. But the best friend was like never in the story. It's like explained that she's like in medical school across the country or in a different country. I don't know. But it's like she's your best friend. I think she'd like show up at one point or another. There was like a phone call with her at like one point, but that was like the only time she was in the story or ever even really mentioned. And I'm just like, I would think that that would be a bigger part to all of this. I don't know. And another thing, this is just so completely random, but this story, just like basically all of Mariana Zapata's stories was set in Houston, which is kind of fun because I'm from Houston. So I like, I like the Texas representation from time to time. But it just made absolutely no sense to me that Ivan's family is this like renowned Russian skating family and they own this sports complex in Houston, Texas. Like, why? Why would they be in Houston? They're literally from Russia. There was no explanation as to like why they ended up in Houston. And I'm like, bruh, like Texas is not the place for ice sports. Like they should definitely be up north somewhere or like even in Canada. I don't know, like Houston is the last place. Maybe Dallas, like Dallas has, we have hockey in Dallas, but like Houston, no. It, that, that's such a random detail, but I just thought it was kind of strange. Like why would an Olympic gold medalist in figure skating live in Houston? Kind of weird. Um, 
But yeah, like overall, there were some cute quotes. Like the slow burn of this was very good. There were some scenes I really liked. It was a total page turner. Like all of Mariana Zapata's books, you don't want to put them down. Like they're all thick, they're very long, but they're so easy to read. Like you can really just fly through them. But I do have to say by far of the, I've technically read four of her books now. I read two before this one and I'm just about done with the fourth one. By far, this has been my least favorite book of hers. I'd still like recommend it. It was cute, especially during like winter time right now. It was kind of fun with the little elements there were of the ice skating, but it did fall a little bit flat for me, I hate to say, but I gotta be honest. Um, if you guys read this book, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. If you've read any of Mariana Zapata's books, I would love to know which of them is your favorite. I literally can't get enough of her. I feel like the next month or two, I'm just gonna fly through all of her books, but I need to try to pace myself because I'm gonna be real sad when I'm done. But yes, um, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.